streams anytime, anywhere. Alrighty, let's get back to it now, though, because one of Cincinnati's biggest events, it is back this morning. Of course, we're talking about the Flying Pig Marathon and Half Marathon. Both of those races kicking off around 630 this morning. So just about an hour and a half ago, our very own Taylor Davis joining us live from downtown this morning. Taylor, the race started again about 90 minutes ago. We saw some of those runners, um, at least for the Half Marathon, already crossed the finish line. Are those the guys behind you? Yes, 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 exactly that. These are the winners, the first three people who ran here first. So we're kind of doing a joint interview here. So you'll be able to see all three of them. The number one person is in the middle, and then we have the second place, and then we have the third place. So amazing to see them go through that finish line. So if you could talk about how are you feeling right now after crossing the finish line? It feels really good. Uh, for those that know me, they know I put in a lot of work uh, running every single day. And so this is my first official half marathon uh, racing. And so I didn't really know what to expect. I know it's a tough course. And so it feels good to get out there and, and to perform and, and get the win. I can't really complain about it. And what was the course like? Uh, pretty hilly, but uh, it hasn't really changed in many years. So uh, at least it's your first marathon, but... Uh, Kind of knew what to expect on those hills. They take a lot out of you and right halfway through the race, but uh, you get a nice downhill for the last three miles, which is good. So you get to recover a little bit and usually can finish a little bit hard, but yeah, it was good. And what was it like seeing the end? Sorry? What was it like seeing the end? Seeing the, oh, it was amazing. Uh, honestly, today was kind of a tough day with the humidity and me personally, I was uh, struggling through some some cramping towards the end so just seeing the finish line was just like that that last little push to to kind of get through it all and, and finish strong so. all right well thank you so much you've heard it from the first second and third place winners and i want you to take a look because they're still coming through the finish line i want you to take a look at the time an hour and 33 minutes for the half marathon now we're starting to see the women come through and people are just starting to pour through and like i said earlier they come through the finish line and then they walk straight Straight through here to grab their medals. What an accomplishment to see that all of their hard work has come to fruition and it's over. And many of them say they've been training for months. This isn't their first time doing this. They talk about the course and what it's been like for them training for this. It's just amazing to hear. How are you doing after finishing? What was that? How are you doing after finishing? Oh, feeling great. Absolutely beautiful day. Great run. Everyone out there is so excited. It's wonderful to be out here. Right. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Well, I'm going to send it back to you guys at the studio. All right, so thank you so much. Yeah, huge congratulations to everyone out there doing that. And so while many are out running the marathon and the half marathon this morning, there was also a pre